Yeah. You guys ready then? Yeah, tell us when you're ready. Is it rolling? Yeah, it's oh, rolling. Oh, Jing Jing, darlings. Yeah. We're the fantabulous beasties. And um, this is Elena's channel. I think, hello, EFG. Hello. And all her lovely subscribers. Pims. Oh, don't even get to do my own intro. Mm. Wow. Yeah, Sorry, Elena's going to do her own intro. <laughs> no, I wasn't planning on it. We'll just roll with it. All right, then. So your first question is, what is the origin of the name Fantabulous Beasties and how did you come up with it? Well, actually, we were all supposed to go to the cinema one night to go and see the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Bex had a bit of a... I was domestic. I had a row, day. I had a row with my daughter and my husband and I thought, <laughs> stuff it all, I'm not going. So Oops. I had the ump and I stayed home with my arms folded. And so there we you go. Were. We went, we went, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. So it was a little while after that that it was, you know, we are fantastic. We are. We are indeed. Yes. We are, and it was the fantastic mm -hmm. beasts and where to find them. And so, if you want to know, we're fantastic, but we couldn't use fantastic. Mm. We had to change it. So we are the fantabulous beasties, and wherever they are is where well, yeah. we are. Yes, that's where you'll have a fab time. Enough we said. Will go where we want to go. We will, and there's no copyright. Ching ching, 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 ching darlings. Ching. Right, your second question is, uh, seeing as you're cosplaying Top Gun, mm. uh, what outfits are you wearing? Well, I've just answered that question. What outfits are you wearing for Let's Rock Exeter? Well, we're all going to be sexy beasts in the green <laughs> boiler suits. I'll show you the top of it. Look. Oh, wait a minute. Look, look at that, look. Green. Combat green. Smell, Ready for action. Smells like army surplus. Like... And we've all got badges. So if this is where we're together to... Yeah. Yeah, it does smell it. To sew them all on. Mm. See? <laughs> it smells like my you feet. Did. So we've got a badge to go there. Badge to there and a badge on the right arm. So I'm Nick Bradshaw Goose. Goose Gooding. Ice Cooper. And I Michelle am. Maverick. Pete Maverick. Pete Mitchell. Pitchell. 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 <laughs> I, I've, I've created a, a new character. Pitchell. Pitchell. Uh. Meet Pitchell. Who? 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 So I don't know what his real name is. Get, get them out! Yeah, where's your patches? Oh, where are you going? Oh, all right then. Later. So that's, anyway, that's what we're wearing. Oh, I lost the crisp. Hang on a minute. Catastrophe. Priorities. Yeah. Because military will have those, aren't you? But we also have, we also have um, um, combat green caps. And we are still waiting for from Hong Kong. Yeah. We also have fantastic, fantabulous, Beasts, yep. T-shirts, compliments of clothing your way in Torquay. Thank you, Dale. Yeah, we have to have a shout out to him. Thank you, Dale. Thank you. Um, so yeah, um, the names FB's fifties squadron. <coughs> um, Are you yeah. here to sunglasses? We have dog, dog tags. tags. Dog tags. Thanks to Coopsy. Mm. Beck's got all the, um, the overalls, overalls and the patches and the uh, uh, caps. Yes. Yeah, we 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 are going to rock. Because it's eighties festival, eighties. That's rock access there, so we had to think of something from the eighties. And you'll see from our channel that the cover photo is uh, the Ghostbusters, the new girls, and we were going to do that, but then decided it might be a bit of an arse ache having this big box on the back and carrying that everywhere. Which we thought, could fill with wine. We could. Yeah. Mm. Didn't think that's through today. Nobody would ever check a And we could have had the tube coming around like <laughs> full of wine. <laughs> So we decided to go year. as Top Gunners instead. Because we are. We are. Yeah. Yes. Are. Only five weeks. Five weeks today we'll be there. I know. D I S C O. <laughs> and yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Right. Your third question. Uh, have you ever cosplayed or dressed up before? Yes, we have. Um. Yeah. Maybe not in cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What would you dress up as? Well, we went to see Rocky ah, Horror Rocky Picture Horror. Show. We went oh, as magenta. Thinking of that. Either. No, neither was I. Actually. <laughs> I've been out in fancy dress several times. Yeah. And another friend and I went out as Daphne and Velma from Scooby Doo on Children in Need Night. And no one recognised me because my own hair was very short then. And I had a 
a brown bob wig on and these big glasses. And no one recognised me, so I could be ever so naughty and say things to people like, I don't like you. And they didn't know it was me. <laughs> and they didn't invite me, so no, I haven't. Oh, I didn't know I you didn't then. Know. <laughs> I didn't know you then, and you were in Tortola. And I was good Oh, that long? Mm. Oh, okay. I was a while mm. ago then. Mm. Yeah, Numbnuts was around then. Oh. Yeah. Numbnuts. Not dressing up related, but what's the craziest outfit you've ever worn? <laughs> in public. Oh. <laughs> Let me, I've got to think about that one. A <laughs> couple of ostrich feathers and a few pasties. <laughs> Get good in opposite directions. <laughs> Took a while to master that one. Mm. Um, practice, my dear. Practice. I suppose my Velma costume was the craziest one I went out in. Just, that was just <laughs> bright orange and red. And just... On my hen night, I was actually dressed up as a Swedish girl, and my name was Helga, Helga and I had a pointy hat. I had a pointy hat, and I, even though I had blonde hair, I had these built-in plaits, and I could twizzle them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I think that's got to be my most um, bizarre outfit that I've worn out. What about you, kids? Hmm. A skirt and a hula. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> she wears red. I was a bit younger. Hooli, hooli skirt. <laughs> was the weather nice or was it like somewhere mad like Bradford where it was always pillow It didn't matter. I was 18 and I could do what I want. Oh, I went as a French maid once on my, um, uh, someone else's hen night when I was only 17. Stockings and suspenders and everything. I actually wore a bin bag once. <laughs> Why are you telling me that? Uh, yeah, no, we decorated it. And, and I was with this just skirt, Vanessa, bag. just a bin bag. Oh, do you know um, the old Fiesta Suite? Mm. Yeah, oh, sweating buckets. Oh. And we had black patent shoes. And this girl, Vanessa, who I worked with at the time, oh, she must have been like six foot two, six foot three. And she liked this guy, Good Sean, who worked on the loading bay. And he was about, I don't know, five foot one, five foot two. Oh. And I can remember we had these, we had these outfits with these bin bags. And she, he asked her to dance, and she actually picked him up and was dancing with him around the dance floor <laughs> in the Fiesta Suite. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Vanessa, if you're watching this, I still think about that, and that still tickles me. Um, yeah, fabulous evening. Nice. Uh, next question. Well, I think all three of you do, but do you wear makeup? And if so, how much? And does it vary? Yeah, it depends. Um, yes, I do wear makeup to work and out as well. I only use um, just a light covering of just to cover up any blemishes for during the day, a bit of eyeliner. But if I'm going out, I'll put some eyeshadow on and mascara. And yeah, I, I don't do a heavy load on my face because it falls into the creases, and I think it makes the backs and the eyes look worse. <laughs> we have no creases. Start smiling, and everything goes in frozen. It looks like someone's about to plow a field. So uh, I just do an airbrushing effect. Yeah, but, uh, the best purchase I ever did was a NYX um, stippling brush. It was brilliant. It's like, I think I look wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Just shove it all over. Yeah, and then there's days where I don't wear any, and I walk past the mirror and think, "Who's that whole woman?" Oh, it's <laughs> me. <laughs> you look beautiful, with or without. It's you need your eyes tested, though. I do, <laughs> but I still love her. Keep safe. It depends what time of the year it is and whether I'm hiding freckles. <laughs> See, freckles look lovely when you're six. Oh, they're still cute. Oh, they're six. cute. Aww. 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 <laughs> sun kisses. Yes. <laughs> sun kiss by the sun. Was that it? Yes. I'm so lazy. I am the laziest person when it comes to makeup. I don't do foundation or any cover, any I'm lazy. I do blush. I do wear a bit of eyeliner when I'm going out. Mascara, lippy, that's it. End of. Mm. You don't wear eyeshadow, do you? Don't wear eyeshadow, wear mascara, eyeliner, blush, lippy, done. Me done, mm -hmm. out the door. But it still takes me longer to get ready than you do. No, <laughs> <laughs> One layer of mascara, then another layer. See, it's brushes. <clears throat> I like the brushes, but I don't like the mascara. So I've got it a dip. did take quite a while sat there and I did, I did. Three layers of mascara. And then there's that contraption that curls her eyelashes. It's like a recognised form of Ooh. torture, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, for someone who don't like, who's very squeamish about eyes, I can I can do that, but yeah. I couldn't work There's the clap. Mm. <laughs> yeah. goes. I'm going in. <laughs> Has anyone ever done your makeup before? 
Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Elena's done my makeup. She did um, my makeup for me last Saturday when we went to a lovely wedding at Langdon Court. Uh, Michelle's niece and a uh, lovely lady got married. So, yeah, she did that. And um, uh, I've had my hairdresser did my makeup uh, when I got married, but Elena was a bit younger then, so she wasn't doing the makeup so much. <laughs> Interloper. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I, yeah, so I was really pleased with the makeup Elena did for me. Pretty good. I've only ever had it done once, and that was for my daughter's wedding. And that's it. Were you happy with it? No. <laughs> really? <laughs> Should have had me do it then. No, why? Sort of looked like, no. It's... Yeah, but is, it, is that because you're not used to wearing a full face? Yeah, probably. It was too much. It was, yeah. No. The photographs I've seen, you look gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, but after the meal, I just went back to the room and had a show and took it all off. <laughs> <laughs> Started again. I do like to trowel it on a bit sometimes. Yeah. See, that's why I, 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 can't, I can't do it. Yeah. I only had mine done on my wedding day. But I, when I worked in Dingles on the uh, um, fragrance bars, you had to wear it. Ooh, I mean. um, and I hated it. I absolutely hated wearing a full face, but you had to do it. And I couldn't wait in, to get home, like you say, and take it off. scrape it off. And at the weekends, I wore nothing. If I wasn't working, I wore nothing because my skin just didn't breathe. No, it just feels horrible, doesn't it? Mm. As soon as you take it off, it seems to go. But then you see, my mum didn't wear any. My mum doesn't no. wear anything. My mum's still alive, bless her. She's 83 in October. And she has the most. Yeah. Here's Marina. Um, to, uh, and, and she's got the most gorgeous skin. So I think. I think. When you. When we don't your need to mum. Wear it, no point, but it? when your mum didn't wear it. Sorry, it wasn't, it was some weird fly it thing. It wasn't something that was in you know which was part of her ritual well she had six kids so it there wasn't no time, time. No. um so it was the first thing i ever put on my skin was nibia my mum said there you go so blue tub of nibia and i'm like what am i supposed to do with that drag your skin um but yeah that was it yeah and last question what's the most adventurous look you've done so like have you ever worn complete blue eyeshadow or I do that all the time. Yeah, back in the 80s when I used to go out a lot, I experiment, don't laugh, with different colours. I had three different colours on my eyes. And it was um, like a bright turquoise, a bright pink and a yellow, I think. I was, I'd was. i seen the look on someone else I thought it looked great, so I tried to go for a bit of a rainbow effect. I think I looked a bit scary at the time, but my eyes were a bit like, you know. Yeah, but in the 80s, <laughs> everybody it looked scary. It the range scary. to have really it bright blue mm. makeup, wasn't it? Mm. But I never did, I was never allowed. Couldn't get to the front door quick enough. I was hooked back. Oh, my mum was like that. I swear she had a mirror under the doormat. But I went out without a petticoat. She was there. How did she know? They do. They mums, know. She mums, 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 instinct that she knew. And have, you, have you tried getting up the stairs? Right, she's in bed and you're going like, it creaks in the middle. So you're on that step. Then you're on that step. You had to do the splits halfway up the stairs. And she's still up there waiting for you. And she knows you're coming drunk because yeah. you spend more time giggling and farting all the way up the stairs. <laughs> If I creep up here, she won't know I'm in. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> who does that pod me? Dog. <laughs> and we <laughs> put out a giggle. <laughs> so what time you in stealth mode. Yeah. I got in at 12. Well, someone was tripping up the stairs at half past one. They must have broken because they get belching and giggling all the way up. <laughs> I used to have to take the dog with me, up with me. He used to get into bed with me because if I didn't, he'd be whimpering or howling or barking. And it was like, just, just get upstairs. <laughs> yeah, and he'd be laying. He'd, yeah, she'd come in in the morning, and there'd be both of us with her. He'd, he'd have his little paws over, and I'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was the funniest though, with his paisley pajamas. If he heard me on the doorstep, he'd stand at the top of the stairs, and he'd say, "Shelley, it's time to come in." Yes, Dad. I was 26. <laughs> my my uh, mum would my mum would walk around on the, the floorboards because they squeaked. So just and to let you know. And I went, oh, Chris, time you went home, mate. <laughs> she didn't have to come downstairs. She just needed to walk on the floorboards. Oh, nobody, got in, nobody got in the front front door. Nobody was allowed in my front door. Oh. Oh. No one wanted no. to. They were all afraid of my dad. I see my dad in his pasty pyjamas and his burgundy and cream woolly hat. That he wore to bed. They wore to bed. Oh, bless you, dad. Love you. Miss you. Woolly hat yeah. to bed. Yeah, woolly hat. Yeah. I know someone else. You've done that, haven't you? If he's not on camera, that's my husband. He's worn a woolly hat to bed before, but that's before we were together. I know this. That's right, isn't it? It's just letting off your secrets, yeah. I think. You did, didn't you? 
Well, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. Too tight what's, for the heat, though. What's, what's the saying you lose? Is it 70, 60, 70% of your body heat through your head? So if your head's warm, you'll be a darn sight warmer. So, like you want to get ahead, get ahead. Well, that's to bed. That's to bed. Pom-pom. Oh, my cat falling off. Oh, but pom pom. Yeah. Oh, right. I've got a lovely We digress one. now, aren't we? Yeah, we do. That's what, that's what we do. Okay. Yeah. Any, any more questions? What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> we put, we're putting the world to right. It was. What was the most adventurous look you've ever done makeup wise? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah you did it. Me. You did it for me. Oh, yes. That's how adventurous I've been. Is that with the scar? Yeah. When we went to um, Rocky Horror. Scar down here. Oh, oh your scar this. makeup's amazing. Fantastic. Love it. Mm. And it brilliant. Absolutely I've still amazing. Got, I've still got the photographs of when you did those three scratches down here. Have you got those yourself? Because yeah, you should I've still got them all. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. There. Yeah. We should go out on our next night out. Go any night out. And then we can do our scars all over. Yeah. And see what reaction you, we get. Yeah, we should yeah, go out and tell everybody we've been in a fight. Yeah, and everybody buys a pint and we'll be fine. Come back with more money than we win. <laughs> right. so we, Michelle's wearing her scruffy jeans already. You could put a scab on her knee or something. Yeah. And we could go yeah, and look like we just had a, a punch-up. I could have a big scar. scar. People could that have a big yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I yes. could do bruises. Mm. I haven't done a tutorial yet, though. We'll end up in the... We'll end up in the... I'll be bringing, I'll be bringing Pete from police station. And the old boys will be arrested. Can, can you come and get us? Mm. Or if you went very good at the minute. Oh, we we said we buried some people who'd been arrested <laughs> yes. on suspicion. But we can't remember we'll get, where we we'll did We'll get taken to Charles Cross in the drunken stupor and then our husbands will get carted in. Oh, yeah. see you later, love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off home. Where are you going? So I, don't, I don't know her. I don't know her. <laughs> Let her out in the morning. <laughs> he did it. She did it. No, he did it. Can I order some bacon sandwiches for yeah. the morning? <laughs> Can I have an extra pillow? <laughs> it's all right, mate. I'll bring you a bacon butty in the morning. You'll be fine. <laughs> Hot? What? What am I supposed to do with this? Yeah. Have a blindfold. Like they did in bed <laughs> Actually, I, there was some, I've seen somebody get arrested today. Who's that? Oh, sorry. Where was that? Lind <laughs> Lindhurst Road. Two police cars. Oh, right. oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was off on my power walk. Going down Lindhurst Road. Do you know they're searching bags in the cinema now? We've completely we're, digressed from your makeup thing. We yeah, are sorry, yeah. on. We are on. Critical alert. I thought she downgraded it again now to severe. We're severe now, aren't we? Because I search bags in cinema. How am I going to smuggle all my like, McDonald's See, and stuff? Well, this is yeah. Stick it to you. Like, and it comes a coke yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. If you've got sweets, I'll just shove them down my drawers and pretend <laughs> I've got a condition, <laughs> won't I? <laughs> we'll all have to do it. Show me on the back and pretend you've got hemorrhoids. Yeah. Haribo cherries. Red grapes. <laughs> one, bunch, one, one, one bunch or two. <laughs> Seedless. <laughs> Not these. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, anyway, Elena that's my question. Does, Elena does Next wonderful question. makeup. She's very, very good. Very, very talented and an artist. And I know this is about her makeup, but you should see her artwork. She's absolutely amazing. Fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, fantastic. She's when going to she be, does our makeup on our next yeah. night out, we'll put both. And she probably doesn't want me to say this, but her nickname is Boo. So when she's famous and she's on a film set, she'll be known as makeup by Boo Gooding. <laughs> boo Boo. You never told me that. <laughs> What's up, yeah, Boo Boo? Parksy, Coopsy, Baxy and Boo. <laughs> boo. I'm going to call you that. Yeah. We're like an 80s band. Yeah. yeah, because from Monsters, Inc., little Boo, she tried to be so ferocious because she's so small and she just looks cute when she's it being ferocious. Guess what your nickname work. in school is? It don't work. <laughs> so she's oh, Elena doesn't need any makeup today. She's just gone beetroot. Yeah, she's gone, <laughs> she's gone as uh, red as um, the cherry. I don't know on camera. Mm. Well, you, you guys can do your outro now and clear off. <laughs> you can go now. Oh, thanks right, for yeah. having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. And, Thank um, you. We must be time for a top up, I suppose. Yes, so. Oh, mine's gone. Oh, yeah, mine's nearly all gone. So, so cheers, darlings. Cheers, darlings. Bye. Bye.